This is Practical Activity C10 on lenses. Now, in dealing with lenses, there are a few important skills that you need to learn. Right? There are essentially four sets of skills that you need to master. And the first one is actually the skill of estimating focal length. The second is setting up of apparatus. And uh, these apparatus must be aligned horizontally. I will cover this in more detail as we go along in this video. Right, the third skill is how we obtain a very sharp image on the screen. And the last skill is how to correctly measure the object and image distances. So now, let's have a look at the apparatus that we will be using for this particular experiment. There will be a thin converging lens, a lens holder, a torch, an object which is actually a cross wire over a cardboard, um, a meter rule and a white screen. So this is a, a display of all the apparatus that we will be using. The screen looks like this. A lens holder. Take note that for the lens holder, there's a wing nut over here which you can turn to adjust the height of the holder. The lens, object holder and the object itself. This small little dot is actually a small little cutout inside the cardboard and there's a two metal wires which are mounted over it. This will form the object and this particular object will then be mounted onto the object holder. A torch light, retort stand and finally a meter rule. Okay, now let's, let us have a look at how we actually mount the lens onto the lens holder. Take note, this is the wing nut. Once you un, uh, loosen it, you can actually adjust this whole um, holder up or down. And the lens will be mounted in, inside this V-shaped groove. Right, this diagram shows the object and also the object holder. Right, the object, as you can see, uh, is a small circular hole with a crosshair that is mounted inside the hole and is mounted onto this white cardboard with a stick. Right, this whole object has to be mounted onto the object holder over here. Take note, there's a round nut which is used to tighten the object's position and it can also be adjusted such that it can go up and down it can be higher or lower and we use this round nut to actually tighten and lock the object in place right this is a close-up look of the object itself for this particular experiment we are using an object which is actually a round shape a circle here and a crosshair which are made of metals right now let's move on to have a look at the diagram for this particular experiment okay now the light diagram shows a light source which is on the left hand side followed by the cross wire which is the object. Somewhere in, uh, in between the object and the screen is where we place the lens or converging lens on the green shape holder. Take note that the U here is actually a symbol to represent the object distance whereas V is actually a symbol that represents the image distance. Now let us move on to the first procedure and this is one of the first set of skills that you have to learn uh, which is to obtain an estimation of the focal length of the converging lens. Right, to estimate the focal length of a converging lens, we, have, we will have to use a very far away object. Inside the science lab, there is usually the window or the building of outside uh, the window itself. Okay, And we will have to position the lens holder and the lens itself next to the screen as such. The next thing we will need to do is to place a meter rule beside these two apparatus. Now this is another view from the front side, this is how it should look like. So arrange the lens with the holder itself and in order to obtain the estimated focal length, we will have to move and, um, this uh, green holder forward and away from the screen. And when we do this, you notice that an image of the window appears on the screen. This particular image is actually inverted, it is upside down in other words. And if you keep moving the lens slowly away from the screen, eventually a very sharp image will appear on the screen itself. Once a sharp image is obtained on the screen, this is what we will do. We will then measure the distance between the center of the lens holder, which is roughly at this position, to the edge of the screen. Right? The distance between the 0cm marking and the 14.4cm marking, this will give an estimate of the focal length of this particular lens. Now that we have already estimated the focal length of the converging lens, we will move on to step 2, which is 
to set up the apparatus as shown in the diagram above. We will do that by placing the lens so that its center is 0 0.0, 0 0.450 meters from the cross wire, which means the object distance is actually 0 0.450 meters away. And this is how the setup should look like after you have uh, arranged everything in order. And if you remember earlier on in the video, I mentioned that there's a need, there's this uh, particular skill which you will require, you are required to actually align all the apparatus horizontally. So this is what we mean by aligning the apparatus horizontally. Take note that the torch light should be placed very near to the object and the center of the object over here should be near to the um, center of the torch light. Similarly, for the lens itself, we have to make an estimate and uh, make sure that the center of the lens is at the object itself. Okay, this is try to, this is the skill whereby we need to ensure that um, the image that is formed on the screen can be obtained properly. Okay. There are a few things to take note as well. Okay, as I mentioned earlier on, the torch light has to be placed near to the object. And more importantly, make sure that the edge of the ruler is placed near the center of the object holder. Usually for your object holder, there's a marking at the center of this block. Make sure that your ruler is aligned, the edge of the ruler is aligned to this marking itself. So after arranging the lens at exactly 0 0.450 meters away from the object, we will then move the screen nearer to the lens. By doing so, you'll find that uh, an image of the object will be formed on the screen itself. Once a very sharp image is obtained, we will stop moving the screen and we will take the measurements for the image distance V, which is between the edge of the screen to the center of the lens holder, and again the object distance U, which is center of the lens holder to the center of the block. Now let us have a look at how the setup is uh, done. Right? First, we start by uh, mounting the torchlight onto the retort stand, followed by placement of the object onto the object holder. Take note that we have to tighten the, screw, the round nut over here to make sure that the object do not move and then we move the object right to the edge of the torchlight itself. Switch on the torchlight. Next, we place the lens onto the lens holder. By loosening the wing nut, we can actually adjust the height. At this point in time, make sure that they are aligned. Okay, The center of the lens is aligned to the object itself. Move the meter rule to the edge of these two apparatus, ensuring that the edge of the rule is at the marking at the center of the um, object uh, block. And position the lens holder such that it is at the 45 centimeter marking. Once you have done this, you can start shifting the screen either forward or away from the lens until you get a very sharp image of the object on the screen itself. So this is how the image should look like when it is sharp. right? So uh, this is only obtained after you have adjusted the position of the screen either nearer to the lens or further away from the lens. Now it's time to measure the object distance U. Take note, the ruler has to be placed the edge of the ruler has to be placed at the center of the um, object block and we'll measure from here, from this particular point on the ruler all the way to the center of the lens holder which is here. Next, we'll measure the image distance. Again, take note, we have to measure it from the center of the lens holder to the edge of the screen. This will give us the image distance. Take note, this distance has to be uh, subtracted away from the marking over here. The marking over here has to subtract this reading over here to give you the image distance V. So with that, we are done with step 2 and step 3. Okay. Now, moving on to step 4, we will, we will have to measure and record other values of V, uh, which is uh, for other corresponding value of U, which is the object distance here. Okay, to do that, let's have a look at this next video. Now we shift the lens nearer to the object. We shift it to a position where U is equal to 0 0.40 meters. Now we start to move the screen until we get another position whereby the image obtained is again sharp. 
Once the next value of V has been recorded, we we'll repeat this again for other values of U of 0.35 all the way to 0.2 meters. Now notice that once you have obtained all the data, the value of U should be decreasing, while for the value of V, it should be an increasing value. Taking an inverse of U, we will, we will calculate that and leave our answers in three significant figures and similarly for 1 over V in three significant figures. After this step, we will plot the graph and the graph itself should look something like this. It should show a negative gradient straight line. And from the graph, we will obtain the gradient. And once you have calculated the gradient, it should give you a value of close to negative 1. Then we will move on to determine the y-intercept on the graph itself. Once the y-intercept has been determined, we can then calculate the theoretical value of the focal length for this particular lens. Then by comparing this theoretical value of focal length with the one that's obtained earlier during using the estimation method, we can uh, actually tell that the method over here is able to give us a good um, value or a good uh, estimation of the focal length that is uh, estimated in part 1. Right, and these are some of the sources of error that you will see in such an experiment. So a quick recap of C10 uh, lens. These are the key skills that you should have learned through this video. First, estimating of focal length using a distant object like the window of the lab. Setting up of the apparatus which must be aligned. Take note, this refers to the alignment of the torchlight, object, lens and also the screen. They must be horizontally aligned. The third key skill is how you can actually obtain a sharp image on the screen and this image is actually a real image. And the last skill is how we can actually measure the object and image distance correctly. Right, with that, thank you.